Hey guys, I'm Julia from This Model Eats A Lot and I am here at Cococha, which is a one Michelin star restaurant in San Sebastian. So here we have squid ravioli with corn cream, which is apparently invisible, ham, and the broth from the ham. Seafood and ham always go really well together, so I'm expecting big things. So squid, in general, it doesn't have a very obvious flavour. So I would probably describe the whole thing as delicate. You know, even with the abundance of ham, you don't get any kind of porkiness. The dominating flavour is the corn. It kind of eats like a soup, which is interesting. You know the funny thing with most of these dishes is you have a bite and you think it's going to be really bland and it actually takes a while for your taste buds to get used to it and then finally those last couple of bites, the flavour really sort of sets in. And you're like, ah, oh, now I see. Oops. I was going to try and get through today without spilling anything on myself and obviously it's not my lucky day because there you go. So this is getting really interesting. We've got hake, we've got corn, we've got seaweed and the piece de resistance, edible sand. It's got something called a pili pili sauce which is a traditional sauce which is served with hake. It consists of olive oil, garlic and gelatin and it's kind of sort of mixed around uh, to give it a certain texture. Let's see how it is. This leaf is just kind of sitting on here. Don't know if I can eat it, probably can. My mum always says, don't put so much food on your fork, Julia. It's not ladylike. And look what I'm doing. Sorry, mum. getting a lot of saltiness from that crispy skin of that fish. Pimpili sauce is not something that is super obvious because it contains ingredients that are found in most everyday dishes. That's olive oil and garlic. So basically this dish tastes of the sea because you've got saltiness and then you've got seaweed. amazing. So I actually was scared of the leaf and took it off. <laughs> Got to eat it, so. It's good, it tastes like seaweed. <laughs> so this is the last course. It is ox fillet with ashes and spicy sauce. I know I'm going to enjoy this. got a lot of sweetness and then the ashes bring a lot of dark elements to the dish it's very charcoal -y. and the spicy sauce just kind of you know, punches you in the face charcoal is meant to be really good for your teeth now there's a lot of salt that's coming through on the dish but it goes really well with the ruddiness of the meat Now the interesting thing about ox is I would imagine, you know, it, it's kind of similar to buffalo in that it's not as soft as beef, but as I know from all the years of having lived in India, if you treat a meat well and you really know how to tenderize it and marinate it, then it can be amazing. This is probably the only dish which shows quite a bit of personality in terms of its flavor. You've got that spicy sauce. I would say that great restraint was used with every dish before this and I think this dish is very bold and it's very adventurous and they're really closing a seven course meal with a bang. So here we have sponge cake, sheep's cream cheese, curd ice cream and the local cider which is called sidra. So the interesting thing about the local cider is that it's poured from a distance to get the bubbles.
I like this. Ooh. Beautiful little gold. Maybe it's a nut. Oh. It's probably my favourite dish. It's odd because I'm not really a dessert person. It's a macadamia nut sprayed with gold. I love how everything's sprayed with gold here. So many textures in this dish. Oh my gosh. Obviously because of the yogurt ice cream, it adds a little bit of sourness to the dish. But then you've got the sweetness of the cream cheese as well. And of course if there's an edible flour on it, then it's going to be amazing. So the cider is actually giving the dish a lot of its sweetness because of the apple. But it's also giving that little bit of acidity as well. That was incredible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like the series, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and don't forget to eat a lot.